So the reason a lot of people in 485 sides, we, we call it floating the ground. So a lot of times what you have is like, let's say you have, I'm just using a number here, 10 devices in a row. Well, a lot of times they are not going to be powered off of the, and have the same ground reference. And you have a lot of controls that aren't optically isolated. So you have the power feeding your controller, and then you have a communication 485 wiring with the ground wire. And then you wire that in down between each one. So if you have a different ground reference, again, let's say you have 10 pumps and you're doing this, you can get noise on that. Uh, you can actually have grounding issues on that again because of different grounding references. So, what a lot of people do in the in the industry or out in the field is you will terminate the ground wire on your first device in the network, and then you'll actually float, meaning you just don't connect the ground um, on the other nine devices. So you're allowing that ground for somewhere to drain, but you don't have that ground potential reference interference on the other devices. 